do you get an on an IEP when you have dyslexia? So it's based on the acuity, right? So there are some kiddos who are, which is probably not the correct term, what I would call classically dyslexic. They only and solely have dyslexia. So there's four reading SLDs, right? Dyslexia, which is phonemic awareness and decoding, basic reading, that ability to take apart a word and put it back together with fluency and cadence and prosody. Um, reading fluency, um, which is the rate, words correct per minute. Um, and then of course, reading comprehension. So there are some students that when they're tested appropriately in all seven G's, um, they only have the category of dyslexia. They don't have, they're not struggling with basic reading, they're not struggling with fluency, and they're not struggling with comprehension. So sometimes, very rare in my experience or Alicia's or our partners, that that occurs, then they would solely need their dyslexia delivered on a 504 plan. Uh, but most of the kiddos we serve, when I say most, it rhymes with <clears throat> most, um, have dyslexia, they have another SLD, and they often, often, often have one of the three ADHDs. ADHD, um, 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 what am I thinking? ADHD combined type, ADHD inattentive, and then ADHD hyperactivity. They often run together.